President Biden will be in San Francisco later today to meet with artificial intelligence experts to learn more about the growing technology. This meeting comes as Politico reports dozens of Democratic strategists gathered recently to discuss the coming election. However, their focus wasn't President Biden or Donald Trump, but rather how to combat disinformation spread by artificial intelligence in 2024. Currently, there are no restrictions over using AI in political ads, and campaigns are not required to disclose when they use the technology. That has led some strategists sounding the alarm on the unregulated new innovation. Let's bring in Democratic Congressman Ted Lieu of California. He's been calling for regulations over AI, and he's proposing a bill. We want to get to that in just a moment. But Congressman, explain the danger of just in political campaigns of unre un the use of unregulated AI. Well, thank you for your question. As a recovering computer science major, I'm fascinated with <laughs> AI and all the good things that's going to do for society. It can also cause harm. And I think that's why it's important that we have regulations and laws that allow AI to innovate, but prevent avoidable harms and put in guardrails. We also have to be humble and understand that there's a lot we don't know. And as members of Congress, we have to acknowledge that we have to have experts sometimes advise us on new technologies. That's why later this morning I'm creating a AI commission. It's a bipartisan bill with Congress members Ken Buck and Anna Eshoo, and it will be carried in the Senate side by Senator Schatz. And it's going to look at what kinds of AI we might want to regulate and how we might want to go about doing so, including AI for use in political campaigns. So, Congressman, speak to us about the challenges of trying to regulate something that is developing so rapidly. AI's is use is expanding seemingly by the day. The technology seemingly improves by the day. So how hard is it going to be to wrap your arms around something that, that, that is evolving so quickly? Uh, that's a great question. I'm not even sure we would know what we're regulating at this point because it's moving so quickly. If you look at all their applications that have come out since Chat GPT debuted, it's hundreds and literally probably thousands by now. And so some of these harms may in fact happen, but maybe they don't happen. Or maybe we see some new harm. So I think it's good to have some time pass. It's good to have a commission of experts advise us because if we make a mistake, as a member of Congress and writing legislation, you need another, another act of Congress to correct that. Congressman, for Americans who really know nothing about this, can you talk a little bit about your greatest areas of concern? What were, you know, maybe even some examples of some ways that this technology could run amok, could cause problems? What was it that you heard that made you say, we need to look at this more closely? Sure, so the way I view this as a legislator is there are two bodies of water, as an analogy, a big ocean of AI and this small lake. So in this big ocean, there's all the AI we don't care about. So the AI in a smart toaster has a preference for English muffins over wheat toast, we don't care about that. But in this small lake, there's AI we care about, and then you have to ask, well, why would we want to care about that? First, because it does have a preference that might cause harm to society, such as facial recognition, which is amazing technology, but it is biased towards people with darker skin. And if you deploy that nationwide at law enforcement agencies, you're going to have a huge equal protection violation because minorities will be misidentified at higher rates. So I've also introduced legislation to put guardrails on that. So that's an example of harm AI can cause. Thank you. Congressman Claire, Claire McCaskill here. I am most concerned about political campaigns. Uh, as you well know, the most powerful weapon in a political campaign is video of the candidate speaking in their own words. Uh, many people don't do town halls during Congress just because they're afraid that their tracker will get them on film in a moment where they say something awkward or they misspeak and it can be used against them later. I have really a sense of urgency about what is going to happen in this next cycle when people start airing commercials of candidates speaking words they never said. What would your legislation do to prevent that? And is there any sense of urgency in Congress to move quickly, at least on the front of having to disclose if AI is used in political advertising? Uh, thank you, Senator McCaskill, for your question. So nothing in this AI commission bill precludes Congress from acting in discrete areas of AI regulation. I also note that 
there's AI that can counter bad AI. So for example, you have some companies working on AI that can authenticate original videos and original images. So that could be something that campaigns can use. Uh, in addition, I do support legislation that requires disclosure on ads and social media and so on. So next time, for example, if you see a pro-Trump ad, it might just say at the bottom, paid for by the Kremlin. And so that's a kind of disclosure mm. that we would like to see. Okay. Yeah, that would be good. Democratic Congressman Ted Lieu of California, thank you very much for coming on the show this morning. Mm -hmm.